Hello YouTubers, it's unboxing time of my new boots. So, the boot crest goes on and I had a lot of um, feedback from people who say get caterpillar boots. Now normally I go for British built boots and caterpillars are not British, they're American. But that many people have said try caterpillar boots, but I've decided to have a go. And these ones cost me £109, so they're the most expensive boots I've brought. They are the most expensive, but will they last? Now I say they're American. I'll see if I can find out for you. I've no idea whether they're made in America, because sometimes, you know, if it's an American brand, they might still be made in China, like Doc Martens or British band, band, brand, but they're now made somewhere else. Well, they are some made in the UK, but not always. Uh, so I'll see if I can find that out for you. But, here we go, I've got some good ones anyway. Now these are the Caterpillar Premier Water Resistant S3 Safety Men's Black Work Boots. And for some reason they come with an instruction book. So if you've never worn boots and you don't know how they work, you can read instructions. But I'm a man so I shan't read the instructions. True men do not need instructions and that is them and they look pretty damn good they've got a nice feel to them a nice feel to them feel lovely actually go to insulate insulation waterproof all the rest of it let's say on here caterpillar C E insulated well I can't see anything that says made in China the other fantastic thing now I'm a truck driver and sometimes you know you have like a 15 minute kit and when I had the grinders, it used to take me about 15 minutes to take the boots on and off. So with these, you do the laces up and you do them at once. If I fancy a quick uh, snooze, I can just whip them off. Nice and quick. Nice little cheats there. So that is a handy feature if you're a lorry driver and you just want a quick kit. Which is another one of the reasons why I came up with caterpillars so again with this one you've just got the quick fit blink so I can just kick them off sometimes when I drive somebody else's truck they don't wear boots and there's a big sign do not wear your shoes in this truck and like when you got the grinders and it takes you half hour to take them on and off you think god almighty <laughs> So I never used to bother, I used to just be very careful. Uh, but yeah, looking good. There's a nice feel to them. I do like them actually, they're quite a nice feel. I wish they were British, but we shall try them out. I shall let you know how they get on. Yay, so I've had the Caterpillar boots now for a good three months and uh, I've worn them. Uh, when I first had them done, yeah, obviously I can review them, I can open them, but I can't tell you what they like to wear. So I can now tell you what they like to wear, and they are actually, to be fair, very comfortable. I think they're the most comfortable boots I've ever had. Um, downside to them, they are warm, but they are insulated, and we've just had the hottest summer ever, and they are very, very warm, noticeably warmer than the hogs, Doc Martens or the grinders, but they are insulated, so you can't really blame them for that. So as a winter boot, they are brilliant. Wear them in the summer, your feet are going to sweat a lot. Uh, but I won't hold that against them, like I say, they're a winter boot, they're waterproof, so you can't really complain about having hot sweaty feet in the summer, can you? Um, now, I've been on the website, Caterpillar Boots, 
and they say all their boots are made in the USA by hard-working American people for the hard-working American workers um, and I was trying to find out where they were made and I finally I found it, it was right under my uh, thing and they say they're all made in America apparently until you look at the sole, not the sole, the tongue and made in Bangladesh so uh, that's the Asian part of America then uh, not too far away from China which is uh, in London where Dark Martins are made <laughs> yeah uh, it's the age old thing they, they always see, they seem to be very nerdy on these things uh, they do say they're made in America Dark Martins say they're made in London or in the UK and they're not they're clearly not, blatantly a lie. Uh, you go on the website and they say all their boots are made in America. And Dr. Martin do the same. They say all their boots are made in the UK. And they're not. Um, everyone's doing it. For some reason, boots seem to do it. But you look at uh, the likes of apples. You buy apples. You'll see apples and it'll say on the packet, Manor Farm. And you think, nice British name. They're, they're, they're UK apples. And they're not. They're... they're the company is Manor Farm and they are actually come from a farm up in Africa or something like that. So very naughty really, they all do it. It's I think there should be a law against it because they're misleading it almost. So there we go, they are made in Bangladesh. They are not American made, they are an American company but Bangladesh is where these things are made. Uh, right, so the cons and whatever, the, the uh, they're, they're comfortable as I said they are very comfortable they didn't need any wearing in whatsoever uh, they were comfortable from day one there's one or two small things which I should go through with you now uh, to improve life a little bit um, one or two things that I think they could have done better only small minor things I'm being picky but I am reviewing the boot so I'm being picky but I've got to be picky and I'm reviewing it Right, so I shall begin. Where are we, Doc Martin here? There they are, there are my Doc Martins. So Caterpillar aren't the only people that do it, these are the Doc Martins Industrial. And you go on the official Doc Martin website or the or the video, they've got an official video and they say all their boots are made in the UK. But uh, these are made in, in the China part of the UK. Which China is not a million miles from Bangladesh. Um, yes, so clearly they're not made in the UK, so their claim that all their boots are made in the UK is not true. There we go, if you don't believe me, made in Bangladesh. Right at the bottom there. So one of the things I really love about the boot is the zip going up the side. You've got the laces and then you've got the zip going up the side. And they are really handy, especially as a lorry driver. If I want to have a kip for half hour, I can just unzip, slide them off and go and have a, a kip for half hour. When I had my grinders, they used to take about 15, 20 minutes to get them on and off. So if I had like a half hour kip, I'd spend 20 minutes of that getting the boots on and off. Uh, there is a catch of them though. When you do them up, if you do them up like that, they are uncomfortable. So if you know where the inner side is. So what you've got to do, I learnt this on the day one, they, they rubbed like hell. So what you've got to do is when you do them up, make sure that it's the other side. So make sure that flap is in front of the tongue. Then you don't have any problems at all. Okay, really comfortable like that. But if you do it the other way around, if you do them like the first day I had them, I had them like that. Obviously my foot was in there so they were they were like that or, or like that and they did rub. So that is one little thing to, to be careful of. Uh, just make sure they're in front of the tongue and you can wear them all day long nice and comfy. The only bad thing I found when they were new they were a little bit difficult to get on and off. They have, they have stretched in now, after a couple of weeks they have stretched in now, in my foot, oh, get them in, 
But what I thought they would benefit from is a lot of the things like the Dot Martins and the grinders. They have a little tug there, they have a little thing you can pull. Uh, if I do these up the correct way so they're on the inside. But if you have a look there, there's nothing. There's a little flap there, but you can't grip that. You, you cannot grip that at all. Uh, I don't know why they bothered with that. That's useless. Absolutely useless. So yeah, so you've, you, you've got that bit there, and there's a tiny little flip, but you can't you can't grip that. You can't pull that on when they're stiff. However, that said, I am being picky because after a couple of weeks, they're a lot easier to get on and off now. But first week, I could have. I needed to get my finger in and pull on something but you could slacken the laces off a bit obviously that was another thing you could do but I had the laces that were comfortable for me some of you might like your laces a bit looser anyhow and some of you I'm sure might like them slightly tighter than I have them uh, but the way I have them they were really difficult to get on and off the first couple of weeks um, could have done with a tug there a little, little I don't know what you call them a little grippy thing I could get my finger through and pull them up and no oh, they haven't got them there so that is a little minor mark off I think uh, they could do with something it wouldn't have cost them much just to put a little loop in there so I can get my finger in and give them a tug so as you can see Dot Martins pop a tag there you can you can pull them on same with the grinders and you can pull them on my hogs again you've got a little flap there and get my finger through I can pull that on but yeah, with the with the caterpillars, there's nothing, nothing. Just that little flap, which you can't grip. So the uppers are lasting rather well. They're lovely and smooth. No signs of splitting or cracking as yet. Say so they're about three months old now. I'll get rid of one. Normal place my boots go tends to be there, and say so they're lovely and smooth at the moment. There's no signs there. And my boots tend to go along that line there as well. But so far, no problems. Uh, if there was one thing I would say, there is definitely a good quality feel to these boots. Um, I know they're made in Bangladesh. However, you know when you pick something up and you can tell whether it's cheap straight away. Sometimes, I mean, when I was 17 and I worked uh, on a farm, I was at this Fassie College of Agriculture, you got a free pair of steel toe cap boots for the workshop. And these things, as soon as you picked them up and put them on, you could tell they were cheap. I mean, uh, they squeaked the, uh, the the steel toe caps on the inside, they rubbed on my toes and they put holes in all my socks and they were, the first week of wearing them, I was in so much pain I could barely walk, they crippled me. But you could tell they were cheap the second I picked them up, the second he put them in my hand, I knew that these were cheap boots. Uh, these are the exact opposite. Uh, as soon as you pick them up, they feel good quality. They do feel lovely. Um, there's absolutely nothing that feels cheap about these boots. So, to be fair to the Bangladesh, they do seem to uh, be making good quality boots. They do. Uh, the only thing, obviously, is I cannot tell you how long they last until they die. But so far, so good. So the soles seem to be taking the abuse well as well. Um, say I'm doing 15 hour days, mostly driving the lorry, but I'm pulling pallets up and down the back of the lorry, loading and unloading the lorry. And I do tend to go for a bit of a walk ease as well. Most abuse probably is climbing in and out of the lorry, you know, the steps and climbing coming down the trailer. I have noticed a bit going there, um, but nothing major so far. Uh, they're very grippy, I've not had any problems with my grinders. I had problems, I was always falling over or going wee splat by the truck wash and by the fuel pumps. Uh, I've had absolutely no issues with these, they have got the anti-slip, uh, I'm not going wee splat anywhere uh, the other one say there's no no problems at all with this one good all the way in the grip that's about three months wear so no problems with these got feeling is these are going to last a while uh they say i can't tell you how long they will last until they die only time will tell
Hello there you YouTubers, I've been going now 10 months with the cats. I'm not quite 10 months, just over 9. I've been doing really well, I've been really impressed with them. Really love these boots, really comfortable, really warm. The tread's good. And then just the other day, this happened in the right one. So uh, it looks fine there, doesn't it? Is that the right one? That's the left one, <laughs> the right one. So there we go, that's well and truly uh, gone right in there, which is a pain because I really do like these boots. The uppers, absolutely nothing wrong with the uppers. Um, I'll see if I can get them uh, resold. But I've never had any luck in the past. There's a chap I go to, I took my Doc Martens and my grinders and uh, he said they're not worth it. But I'll take them to him, see what he says. Um, but yeah, they've lasted 10 months, so they're well expensive compared to the grinders and the Duck Martins, which were 70 quid. These were near 120. Um, and they've lasted about a month longer, which is a shame, because I really liked them. Oh well, we'll see what we'll try next, eh? Thanks for watching. Bye bye.